This is your Monix Metals Market Update with Mike Maroney. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, July 19th. My name is Mike Maroney. I am coming to you today from the Monex Precious Metals studio. Let's talk precious metals. We've seen a nice move in both silver and gold over the last few days as silver hit a low of 1515 three days ago and today hit a high of 1630 and gold hit a low of 1207 and today we hit a high of 1242. Now a lot of that has been predicated on the drop in the value of the US dollar which was also predicated based on the events that have taken place in Washington. When you think about the promises that our president has made, one of those was to repeal Obamacare. And the reason he wanted to do that was because it was estimated that that would free up approximately 800 billion over the next five to 10 years, which would allow him to utilize tax cuts. Now that the Republican base, which controls the Senate and the House, has decided not to support this, it has pushed the value of the dollar down to levels last seen almost a year ago. Now the interesting thing was the last time we saw the dollar this low, gold was all the way up at 1340. So many investors are asking, why is gold not breaking out to the upside with the dollar this low? Now, one of the key reasons is the activity that is currently taking place in the U.S. stock market, as the NASDAQ, the S&P, and the Dow continue to make higher highs. And what's happening is the stocks have become a safe haven and gold has become just a commodity. And when gold is just a commodity in this type of environment, it's not going to have the inverse relationship that it typically has with the U.S. dollar. But what sits out on the horizon? If you think about what's happening with the U.S. stock market and you think about the historic price norms over the last hundred plus years, and if you go back to the ultimate value investors, Graham and Dodd, you would obviously look and say that we are currently a little bit overvalued as far as the stock market. And with the recent activity, we have not seen a 5% drop in the stock market in well over a year. And going all the way back to 1950, this has only happened four or five other times. So what we may be looking at right now is a situation where we could easily see an exodus out of stocks once we start to see a sell-off because many people are looking at certain numbers as key support and they will continue to hold until those numbers are breached. But once those numbers are breached, it's like when somebody yells fire in a crowded theater and everyone runs for the door at one time. Things could become extremely volatile. And in that situation, suddenly the safe haven market will be the market that people are looking to get out of and looking to find the new safe haven, which has always been there, and that's precious metals. We've had a nice rally, obviously, silver 1515 all the way up to 1640, gold 1207 all the way up to 1242. But what sits out on the immediate horizon? The dollar will probably be key. If we hold 94 and bounce, then there's a chance that precious metals will stay, stay a little stagnant for the next couple of months until we run into the debt ceiling issue in August. And what we've seen in Washington lately is they have a hard time getting just about anything done. And if they have an issue with the debt ceiling, that was a massive catalyst in the past. Gold is broken above the 200 day moving average and the 100 day moving average is sitting at 1248. If gold takes out 1248, look out. I think we're gonna run up to 1300 and if for some reason we can get above that number, things could get extraordinarily bullish. Silver is extraordinarily oversold and we've closed above the 20 day moving average two days in a row. 
We're 60 or 70 cents away from the 100 and the 200 day moving average, and we could easily pop up to that level and break through. And when you're considering where we are, as far as historic norm to where the dollar sits today, now may be one of the best times to give us a call here at Monex to talk about how you can add precious metals to your portfolio as a safe haven and a potential profit maker. Give us a call today. Thank you.